Hey everyone, so, um, I'm gonna try to get this up earlier than usual. My dog says hello. Um, we'll see how that works, but it will be up by the end of the day. I can guarantee that. So, um, alright, couple things. I'm so stoked about the fact that we've got a little advertisement, or, you know, so we're gonna be talking about on Beatles Rama, which is this great radio station online, if, um, Abby posted the link yesterday. If you haven't gone, go listen to them. This is such a cool opportunity, and I'm so excited because the advertisement starts on my day! Yay! My dog's excited, too, apparently. We have people moving in next door to us, so there's noises that he doesn't like. Um, Alright, moving right along. I was going to do this big thing, but my computer's being slow, so I'm just going to have to post links to the clips I was going to show in the sidebar. So, I was going to talk about, um, growing up with the Beatles. You know, we've all seen Yellow Submarine as children, and, you know, for some of us, that's what got us into them. And for many of us, uh, we all knew Ringo Starr as the conductor on Shining Time Station. Um, this is going to really date me, by the way, guys, so, yeah. Um, surprise! You're going to know I was an 80s child, hardcore. Uh, anyway... The first clip I want to show is a clip from Alice in Wonderland that was done in 1985. And, um, I'm really picky about Alice in Wonderland because they almost always, or at least, well, the Disney version pissed me off especially, because they didn't include my favorite scene. My favorite scene in the book was the scene with the griffin and the mock turtle. Well, this 1985 version has that. Not only that, but to make it even cooler, the Mock Turtle is played by Ringo Starr. I was in heaven when I was a kid because I love that I love that clip in the book. And Ringo is the Mock Turtle. You get to see Ringo in tights, by the way. And he's so flippin' cute and I, I love it. And the song he sings is adorable and I used to love the song and I still do and I'll sing it sometimes. So you should really watch it. Um, and then the next clip I'm going to talk about is Awe. Uh, um, I don't know if anyone else watched this when they were. A lot, of, a lot of my friends didn't, so that's why I'm saying that. Um, yeah, it was a British cartoon, but it was also shown in America uh, called Rupert. And I used to read the Rupert books when I was little. My parents got them for me. Um, and I used to watch the cartoon all the time. And if you ever watched Rupert as a kid, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm going to talk about. So, um, it's been a long time since I've seen the actual episode, but there was some episode where Rupert found this cave full of frogs, and, um, and they were like, uh, I don't remember exactly what was happening, but they all were corralling together and they sang a song. Paul McCartney wrote this song, and it's very catchy, um... And I'll post the video in the sidebar as well. This is actually the music video for this song. And I like it because, you know, Paul's in it for a little bit. And, you know, he's in his 40s at this point. But, um, I'm sorry. It's, he's still, so, he's still cute. And it's so dorky. That's why. He's so dorky in it. They're like, oh my god, you're adorable. Anyway. And the song is really cute. And I used to sing it all the time as a kid. And I've been caught singing it while doing art before. And an endless loads of crap because of that. But whatever. It's catchy, it's fun, and I like it. So, there's that. Um, then, for my regular um, stuff, for Beatles art today, I'm going to do something a little different. Something that I think is cool. Um, I am posting something that was done by all four Beatles. Which I'm sure people have seen it, and I don't really, you know, I don't really care because I want to talk about it. So when they were in Japan, or their 1966 tour, they got bored one night, um, and they asked for paper and paints. And the four of them sat at this table with a little lamp right in the middle, and um, painted. And they painted on one piece of paper with this lamp sitting in the middle, and they all like worked from the outside in, and um, from each corner of this paper, and came up with this amazing painting, which I'll show right now. 
And it, it's really cool because they're, s they're so different. I mean, personality-wise, we know that they had vastly different personalities, but their art styles are so different. Yeah, they combine to make this one amazing piece, and God, if I had the money, I would have so bought that, but there's no way I'll ever have that much money. Uh, it's a great piece, and I love it. And then I'll also post a little picture of when they're working on it, because it's one of my favorite photos of them. Alright, hey again, sorry about that. Uh, the webcam is acting up today. Bad webcam. Um, so, continuing right along, um, I'm posting my meat free Monday recipe for sweet potato soup. Sounds good, it sounds very fall like, so look for it right over there. Um, also, before I go, I do need opinions from all of you. And I don't normally do this because tattoos are usually something I decide on. Um, but this has been a year in the making and I still can't decide, and I'm getting inked on Friday, as it's really the only time I can. Um, get it done uh, this year. So, um, I've been planning a Sgt. Pepper themed tattoo and I'll explain that later why, once I get it. The first would be the actual Sgt. Pepper logo. It needs to be the actual dimensions. And it's going to be going right here. The tattoo is whatever I decide on. And yeah, I'm double jointed, so my own bend will. Um, and then the other is this little image, which I really like, and I will post the link to the artist site over here, she's a deviant artist, um, and again it be going here. I've had both of these kind of in mind for a while, and I can't decide, and I'm getting inked Friday night. And my tattoo artist is awesome that she can do stuff on the last minute if I, for whatever I decide. So, this is going to be probably the only time you will hear me ask for an opinion on what I get inked. Take this opportunity and let me know what you think. Until then, I will see you next Monday. Wait,